Hello, fifth graders. My name is Mr. Jenkins. You're on the board. Um, today is the first day of class, which is August the 26th, and it's 2015. Something interesting about this year, it is my first year teaching, so y'all get to go on this journey with me. You're in my first class, so let's make this a great year, a fun field year, learning experience, and um, let's have a good time. The very first thing I want to show you is we're going to have a different quote every day. Um, I'm a big sports fanatic. Many of y'all don't know Jimmy Valvano, but he said, if you laugh, you think, and you cry, that's a full day. That's a great day. You do that seven days a week, and you're going to have something special. So I figured if we can do something like that right there, just in class, we're going to have an awesome class. Um, to begin with, we're going to get to meet each other. Like I said, my name's Mitchell Jenkins, Mr. Jenkins to y'all. We're going to play a game that involves trust and honesty. Um, both are very important. So to begin with, I'm going to tell you two truths and a false about myself, and one of y'all can guess which one is the false. My name's Mr. Jenkins. I like the Dallas Cowboys. I travel around and play softball, and my favorite food is coconut. Coconut. That's correct. So now, I'm going to call on, what's your name, sir? Kyle. Kyle. Tell me your full name and two truths and a false, and we can see if, what's your name? Caitlin. We'll see if Caitlin can guess it. Well, my name's Kyle. Uh, I like playing baseball. I like hunting. And I've been to the Grand Canyon. You haven't been to the Grand Canyon. That's right. That's good. Now, Caitlin, um, could you do the same for us, please? My name is Caitlin. I love chimichangas. I love football. And when I grow up, I want to be a brain surgeon. You won't be a brain surgeon. I want to be a teacher. Awesome. Um, the reason we did this class is um, this helps me see your expressions, and it lets me see a little bit about y'all. Uh, lines never good. We know that. So this is the only time I expect for y'all to be telling the field. But now I know you hesitated a little bit. You weren't too excited about being a brain surgeon. So we know how. I know when y'all are lying now. And um, also, we want to trust each other in class. We're a full unit in this class. We're just not scattered about people. Um, now that we know each other, I would like to talk about how our class is going to be conducted. This is our class, not just mine, not just yours, it's all of ours. Um, I like the term team because a team is a fist, it's not a scattered out hand. Um, teams work together and um, to be a team you must practice daily, respect, kindness, and restraint. Um, if there is any kind of issues, problems in this class, which I don't see many of them, we may have a few, you know, we're human beings. They will be resolved by respect. We ain't going to disrespect each other. We're going to be nice. And, uh, only kindness will solve issues. Being mad and mean to each other is just going to cause further problems. This promotes a team concept. Uh, we will always think before we do. You know, if you think about doing something, you really think it's not right, just don't do it. This is how restraint is practiced. You uh, know you're not supposed to do something, just don't do it. That way it will involve no problems, no discipline, all that good stuff. If we do this, we're going to have a great year. Um, so with that being said, we're going to go into the classroom rules. Once again, we're going to stick with the team issue. Um, T, we're going to think about your actions, be respectful, and always be thinking. E, everybody love everybody. Don't want no hard feelings. Just everybody be kind to each other. Work as a team. Keep your hands and feet to yourself and don't invade other people's space. A is for attitude. Always keep it positive and not negative. Bad attitudes equal bad days. Don't be mean to other students or the teacher especially. M is manners. This is probably some of the most important aspects you can learn in life. Y'all are fifth graders now about to go to middle school. Being mindful and displaying manners is going to be very important. Raise your hand to be addressed and 
never interrupt other students. With that, I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all the discipline. If you break some rules or you do stuff you ain't supposed to do, we go back over here, you don't display restraint, respect, or kindness, you're gonna have to get in trouble. Now, I really don't wanna have to punish nobody because I'm sure that was smooth here, but some of us are gonna get in trouble. And it's not always a bad thing because we're gonna mess up some. We should learn from our mistakes. But um, once again, we're gonna stay with team because like I said, I want us to be together. My favorite sport's baseball. Some of you may not like baseball, but you know, we may switch it up through the year. I may try to do something else, but every student's gonna start at home plate. It's like I got right here. If you're at home plate at the end of the day, you're gonna get a point or a ticket. You can either use it that day, because there's a few things like a piece of gum or a little candy can be worth a point. But if you want to, you can save up your tickets and get some bigger prizes throughout the year. But let's say you get in trouble, you know, you talk out of turn, you know, you, just, you mess up, you're having a bad day, we're gonna move you to first base. If you go to first base, it's kinda like a warning. You're not really gonna, you're not gonna tell your parents, you're not gonna go to the office, none of that good stuff, but you don't get a ticket. You don't get a point, none of that good stuff. Now, if you go to second, when you go to second base, I'm gonna send a note home, maybe, where you're gonna lose playing time, you're going to have extra time, maybe during PE, you might have to write something, you may have to walk, whatever, you know, there's going to be a little bit of action. Now, if you go to third, you've really messed up. That's three times in one day, and that's not good. So, the third offense, you're getting a note home, you're visiting the principal, or I'm calling on. I'm more than likely going to call your parents and talk to them about it because three times in one day is an issue. But like I said, um, the prize box will have some good stuff in it. Sometimes it'll have homework passes. And with homework, we're gonna have it every Monday through Thursday. It won't be you know, significant amounts. It'll just be enough to keep you fresh. You know, we're taking EOGs just like you did last year, so I want you to be on top of things. Only thing I ask for over the weekend is that you, know, you don't forget that school's on Monday, so just don't have a fun-filled weekend too much, because I want you to still be, you know, when you come to school Monday, you're gonna learn. Maybe read a little bit over the weekend, if you can. Um, today's the first day of class, so it's a little different. You know, I hate to bore you out, but just sitting up here and talking to y'all. But every morning, I'm gonna greet you at the door, high five, a fist pump, whatever, you know, a hug, whatever you want. Then um, I want you to go to your seats, you can place your backpacks beside you at your table. This will be four to a table. And you can go place your backpacks under the table. That way you can have all your stuff right there. But scoot it underneath so no more trip over. Um, I'll take attendance by just simply you know, saying your name. You stay here, we'll check you off. This is important because I need to know who's absent. There'll be folders in the back of the classroom where we turn in all our work except for homework. Homework, I'm gonna come by and just check it. Simply see that you did it. Um, any like a paper or something, big assignments will go back there. And if you miss a day, you just go back there. Your folder has your name on it. Pick your assignments out of it. You got a couple days to do it and return it to me. Um, I'm going to mention we're going to have a haiku website that we'll do some assignments on, but that'll be later on in the year. Don't we'll worry about that. Um, after attendance, breakfast. We eat breakfast. That'll take, uh, you know, 15, 20 minutes. So, you know, just, you know, you can talk, have a good time, just don't get too loud. Um, I will call your name out, ask you what you want for breakfast. You let me know, I'll check it off. That way we'll know if you bring your own breakfast, that's also good. Just like lunch, if you want to bring your own, you know, you're welcome to do that. After breakfast, our typical day will go straight in to morning math. This will be 20 minutes where I'll have math questions on the board. You work on them. Um, you may not get finished, but work on them for the 20 minutes. After the 20 minutes, we'll review them. And if y'all have any questions about the math, we will review them as a class, and I will help you come to a conclusion. After this, we'll have 20 to 25 minutes of student selected reading. This is where you're going to be able to take AR tests, too, because AR tests are very important. You at least need to get about 25 points, just so you, I know you was doing something. But if you get 100 points in a year, Get to go to Washington, D.C. to a picture. Um, 
that will be before that'll be every day, and that'll be going in straight to our daily subjects routine. Um, before we get into some activities today, though, a, a final little thing about procedures is we're going to do talk about bathroom uh, breaks, water breaks, lunch, packing up, um, any kind of organization. How we're going to run things. Um, I'm sure all of you have learned to raise your hand to either get permission or to speak. Um, this is uh, the way we'll run things, but I'm going to do a finger system that I learned from a teacher. Um, communicate during class while we're discussing. So if you hold up one finger while I'm talking, it means you want to go to the bathroom or get water. Um, you're allowed to have water or juice at your table. You know, just don't let it get into any you know distractions. Um, if you raise two fingers, it means you need to go to the office or nurse. I will call you up and let you tell me what you need. If you get sick, though, please, you're welcome to run. Uh, you know, I don't want to be cleaning up no mess, but if it happens, it happens. You know, we're human beings. If you can't get out, we'll, we'll figure it out. I'll call the janitor. Um, three fingers is materials. You need pencils, paper, writing, give you enough handouts, etc. Um, a whole hand is simply just to speak and ask me a question or to get involved into discussions. Um, whenever we go anywhere, we're going to go back to the rules and do respect, kindness, and restraint. If you're in the hall, what's the number one thing to do? Um, okay. Be quiet. Yes, correct. You know something else you're supposed to do in the hall, Kyle. Walk in a straight line. Yes, that's correct. Um, I have a single file line, straight line, or if you're by yourself, stay to one side of the hall. You know, don't be zigzagging in and out, bumping against the walls. You know, just stay to one side so you can respect other people's space. Um, you keep your hands and feet to yourself, of course, and we're gonna use a level zero voice, which means no talking, because there's other classes going on and we don't want no talking. This is the same way as we're going to the cafeteria. We packed up to go to the cafeteria. Uh, people that brought their lunch, go and get your lunch in the back and line up first. People that's going to buy lunch, get in line behind them and we'll walk to lunch. When you get to lunch, you know we're going to be quiet all the way to the cafeteria. The only time you speak when we get in the cafeteria at the beginning is if I ask you something or if the cafeteria people ask you what you want. Um, you're allowed to talk once you get to your seats though. Don't get loud. I don't want to set y'all on sign seats and I don't want to give you silent lunch. That is so boring to sit there and eat and not be able to talk to nobody. So don't ruin it. You know, just be kind and respect others. At the end of the day, after all our subjects and routines are done, we're going to do some free rides and journals. Or we'll read. Or we'll have a couple novels or books we'll read through the year and I will actually do out loud reading. You know, so you ain't just sitting there always reading to yourself. And we'll do some free rides on that. Um, car riders will always pack up first. And then bus, or bus riders will pack up first, I'm sorry. Then car riders. Um, they will dismiss you over to intercom. And I will uh, let the bus riders go out. And I will walk as the car riders go out front. Um, once again, even though it's the end of the day, don't run wild. Just try to stay in a straight line, as straight as possible. Be quiet and always practice the hallway procedures. Um, up here, we have the lunch choices. They'll be there daily. Um, it'll change. Uh, I'm pretty sure I think they said they're going to have pizza from like Domino's every day. So you can get it every day, but there'll be different choices up there. Um, you need to write any notes on the board you can. Also, if you have a quote that you would like to put on the board, let me know about it and I will use your quote. Um, is there any questions right now anybody has? Can we bring a snack every day? Um, yes, I'll allow you to bring a snack. Um, you know, nothing too big, just a little snack and a drink because we have the late lunch. We actually don't go to lunch till like 12.45. So, you know, I don't want you in here starving to death. Plus, if you don't have something on your stomach, you're gonna start getting distracted, running wild and all that good stuff. Um, also, 
we'll be going to the bathroom before lunch. We'll be going to the bathroom before lunch and after. And we'll go one time in the morning and afternoon, give or take, you know. Um, anytime you go to the bathroom, like I said, just practice the finger system and more likely there's going to be no problem. You, know, you can go ahead, you come up here, I'll give you the hall pass, go about your business, take a few minutes, come on back. Um, when we go to the bathroom, please just respect each other. You know, don't be fighting in the bathroom. Yeah, when people can holler and all that good stuff. Just practice kindness. So. What do you think, Kyle? On the discipline chart, what kind of sports are you going to use? Um, I'll probably stick with baseball for a little while. But I've been thinking we might do like, a, we could do a basketball. You know, you start at the goal. You're the home team, you stay at that goal. You go to free throw line, half court, free throw line, full court. And then once you get to this end, I may reverse it and be, if you get up here, or maybe so I might start in half court. And if you come up to here, you score, you do, that means you achieved above average or above what you, a typical day. And if you go back, that's discipline. You know, I might try to throw in volleyball, I might figure out golf, cheerleading, whatever, no biases. I'm just, you know, trying to keep it interactive and kind of see where you can see it broke down by each level. Um, is there a, a rule that y'all would like to make or one that you would like to maybe even change? Maybe we should make a rule, not really a rule, but add to our rules that these apply everywhere we go. They're not just our classroom rules, they're our school rules. That is great. So we'll put, instead of classroom, we'll make sure to put, you know, these are also the school rules. Because, like, you know, that's any time in life, you know, like I said, y'all are getting a little older, you're in fifth grade, you're going to be going up. So I want you to be able to practice these rules because it's going to just take you farther in life. Uh, as far as the date goes, this will be here every day. And, uh, we're going to use it a little bit. I know uh, y'all are old enough now, I'm not going to insult y'all's intelligence by saying, you know, it's sunny outside. What's today? It's Monday. Yada, yada, yada. But we are going to take the calendar and use the numbers in it to do some math, do calendar math. Um, you know, make true equations and all that good stuff. Um, maybe do some fractions with it. I know you are going to enjoy that about as much as I am. But um, basically, what I want to see in my class is just unity. We work together. We're going to make it through this year. There won't one of y'all, none of y'all will fail. Everybody's going to pass. That's my goal because we're going to work again. Um, as far as um, also as discipline goes, we're going to have parent teacher conferences because I really enjoyed meeting y'all's parents at the beginning of the year. So we're going to have them regularly. But don't be afraid of them because most of the time it's going to be me telling how awesome y'all are doing, how good y'all are doing. Um, before we get into work, is there any more questions or are y'all good? I think we're good. Right, well, um, class, um, what we're going to do for the beginning of the day is we're going to dive into, we're going to take a little test. Don't count. It's just going to be to see what you learned from fourth grade. And uh, we're going to take this test at the end of the year again before we get into EOGs. And that way I can see where y'all came from and where y'all was. That way we can make sure that everything's going to go great. Uh, I also look forward to working with y'all. You know, we're going to learn a lot this year. We're going to have fun. Like I mentioned, it's my first year teaching. So we're going to grow together. We're going to see, I'm going to see y'all change as you see me change. Don't be afraid to come and ask me anything. I am y'all's number one fan. I want to make sure that we all get through this. This year is going to be great because we have an awesome class. 
We, um, so keep calm, relax, because Mr. Jenkins fifth grade class.